All right, in this video, this is where the magic happens with low fruits, and it's why I love this tool. We're gonna to analyze some keywords, and we're gonna find the low-hanging fruit. And it's gonna show us which of these keywords have low, have domains or websites that are ranking, that have kind of low authority, that if we write articles, we have a greater chance of showing up on that first page of Google by targeting the low-hanging fruit. Thus the name low fruits. So let's jump in. This is where we left off in the last video is we have uh, 2,300 keywords. That doesn't mean that's the only keywords about selling on eBay, but for this particular search it is. And one of the things that I wanna do, now I could just sit, click here and say, analyze all 100, 2,300 words. I don't wanna do that because I might be analyzing words I'm not interested in. So even though I've vetted them out a little bit with this topics, um, what I can do now is let's say I want to target books. So keywords about selling books. If I just put in books in here, you can see I've got 36 keywords. So I want to analyze these. So if I click this bulk selection and click all pages, now down here at the bottom, I've got some choices. Now the way it works is one keyword equals one credit. And again, credits are, are pretty inexpensive. I think for $25 you can get uh, 2,000 some keywords if you want to just start with that or if you take their monthly membership you get new credits every month and the credits are a little bit cheaper because you're on a monthly plan but we're gonna hit this extract uh, do the SERP which is search engine result pages it's gonna go analyze the top 10 results for every one of these 36 keywords and show me which ones are easy competition keywords. See if we get anything out of that. Now it's going to take a little bit and uh, while it's doing that, let me explain what's going to happen. So over here you, you see weak spots. Now what's going to happen, actually it's already popping in, we want to see ones that have some fruit to it. So you can see selling on eBay books, <clears throat> this kind of has no weak spots. In other words, according to the way that our project set up, all of them have greater than 20 on that scale of 1 to 100 domain authority. So for a new site, this would be difficult to rank. But then down here, we can see some other stuff going on. So whenever you see, <clears throat> let me move my video out of the way so you can see the fruit a little bit better. Whenever you see blue, what these are is these are considered user generated content. These are like forums, Quora, Reddit. In this case, it's like the eBay forum. And the reason why those show up, even though you can see it says the domain authority, the DA is 93, the truth is Google is showing this because there's not any other good articles other than what was generated in a response on a forum. So even though these are high domain authority, Anytime you see user generated content, it means there's just not good enough articles to suffice. So you can rank. Now, what we want to see is we want to see at least two fruits, okay? The green is saying that there is somebody ranking in the top 10, in this case, that is below 20 in domain authority. And you can see here, the uh, flipthosebooks.com is only a DA of 16. So even a new site, a brand new site, has the possibility of ranking for this. However, there's only one and it's sitting in position 10. I would like to see that there's at least two. So the way that we can find where the most weak spots are is if we go hover over here where weak spots are and actually click on it. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Selling books on eBay worth it. In other words, is it... Is it worth it to sell books on eBay? Is there a way to earn a profit? That would be my audience. And when I look at this, I'm not concerned about search volume. This is very important. All search volume tools are just kind of doing the best they can. The truth is some of them try to average it out by the month. It's hard to know the, the trending keywords. And what I have found is even when I'm targeting keywords that are 10, I'm still getting lots of traffic. Why? Because you don't rank for just one keyword. You're going to rank for a multitude of keywords. In fact, 
In another video, I'm going to talk about keyword clusters. And when you understand this, it really becomes a powerful secret weapon in creating less content, but getting more traffic. So stay tuned for that. So immediately when I look at this, I see selling books on eBay, <clears throat> worth it, is a good one, right? We've got number one position is a Reddit. So we can, we can beat that with a new site. This one is that flipthosebooks.com. It's only a 16. Uh, another from eBay and another from Quora. So you got three content or user generated content. That means we can write an article and we've got a good chance of ranking for this. Same thing here. Do used books sell well on eBay? This would be a great one to target. Um, so comic books on eBay has three. All of these here, and again, we only analyzed 36. But out of these 36 keywords, we can see here that we have um, definitely all these that have at least two we can go after. All right, so that is the power of this tool, is it's going to help you even with a new site, or if your site's been around a little while like mine, maybe your site's already ranking 46 or 47. If I were to change it to my other domain, you would see that I would have even more opportunities, more hanging, low hanging fruit. But what's cool is even a brand new site has the potential to rank for these keywords, and I just chose one topic. I only analyzed 36 words in this case. So now your step, if you want to take that next step to find them, I would encourage you to go get some credits. Now, this may change depending on when you're watching it, but if you go down here to billing, scroll down here, you will see that, um, that you have either subscription or credits. Now, if you're a, if you're a monthly subscriber, you get a 10% discount if you want to pay over and above what your subscription has. So if I click over here to subscription, I'm on the $80 a month plan and it gives me 10,000 credits per month. But if I want to buy some additional credits beyond that during that month, I don't want to wait to get replenished for my 10,000. I get a little 10% discount. I can get another 2,000 credits for 22. But if you are just wanting to get started with this, you can currently, this may change, but you can currently get 2,000 credits or 2,000 keywords to check for 25 bucks, which is totally affordable when you compare it to other tools that start at $100 a month as far as keyword research tools go. So that is the next step, is I would encourage you, at the very least, to consider spending $25. Now those 2,000 keywords, you might end up with 100 blog posts and you might be good for the next six months. So that is your next step. I'd encourage you to take that. There's a link below again if you have not started your account with Low Fruits. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll tell you what to do next.